Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford F-150 Roush Edition. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Roush F-150 Edition. So we're going to talk about this Roush F-150. We're going to cover a little, probably a little different than most people will cover the Roush F-150. We're going to talk about what's standard, all the core components on the F-150, what trim levels you have to base that off of from Roush when you send that vehicle to Roush, and what's included in their core components. We're gonna also then go a little bit further and talk about some of the different options you can choose to go with on your Roush edition as well. So you can find that Roush dealership in your area. We are the uh, certified, one of the few Roush dealerships in the state of Kansas. And uh, in fact, we're top five when it comes to Roush parts in the entire United States. So we're gonna cover this and go through the core components and the different options. And we do have some current uh, Roush F-150 stock and inventory, uh, about eight I believe when I looked this morning, that we have in stock. We can also order one, have this, have a vehicle dropped right to Roush, have it configured with the color you want and the equipment that you want based off this video. So I hope this helps you out and gets you the Roush F-150 you're looking for. So if you like videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be subscribed to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can always be notified next time we have another video uploaded to the channel. So let's dive in and talk about some of the core components and uh, also what's more important is how these things be configured from the factory before Roush will put their, uh, their, their kit on the vehicle. Now, Roush does require their, uh, their four dealers to equip this either as an XLT with a 302A equipment group or the Lariat trim with the 502A equipment group. Uh, so that you have to configure at, based off of one of those uh, configurations. Also has to have the 5.0 liter V8 engine as well. Well, I'm not sure if it has to, but that's how we're gonna order all of ours because we can add superchargers on them after that if you'd like to from Roush as well. So uh, we are gonna cover that. So basically, if you're wanting to, we do, I have a breakdown of all the different 2023 F-150 trim levels. So check out the XLT as well as the Lariat trim level videos. I'll have them at the end of this video as well as in the description if I remember. But at the end of this video, there'll be two recommended videos up here. One will be the XLT uh, video, the complete guide video, and one will be the Lariat trim. So if you wanna see how you want those equipped, uh, we tend to go with the XLT trim with a 32A equipment group because you get so many so many features in the XLT because that one's the one that gets you the big 12 inch touchscreen with the Sync 4 system, uh, has the over there update, all the different things that's included there. You also get intelligent access with this. Uh, you get the Bliss system with cross traffic alert. Uh, you get the, of course, the remote start. You get all the great features, dual power seats, dual heated seats. All the features that you maybe expect in the Lariat of the past is now included in the XLT with that 302A equipment group. And you can also upgrade and get it with the Copilot 360 Assist 2.0 if you'd like to as well on the XLT trim without having to break the bank and go on up to the Lariat trim. So that's why we go with XLT 302A. Again, watch those videos. You know all the equipment that's included within the XLT, as well as you wanna watch that 302A equipment group so you can see what's included in that equipment group as well. You can configure this however you want to. So if you want a different uh, package, you want, hey, I want that Copilot 360 Assist 2.0, I want this bed utility package. You can add those packages onto the build before it gets shipped. For uh, Roush just requires it be the XLT 302A or Lariat 502A equipment group. So you'll need to make sure that it's configured that way. And then we can add the different Roush components onto that. Now, first let's talk about some of the core components as you get on the front of the vehicle because uh, Roush really upgrades the front. So I really love the, the upgraded Roush grill up here. So it's gonna be a uh, total grill replacement. So this is uh, totally Roush's grill here. Uh, and it looks pretty sharp. So it does have that black grill, black mesh. I love the black bar with the Roush uh, stamped right on there. Not really stamped, but it's just, it's built right in there. So real light. Real good look here. I do ha like the lights coming over to the side. So you have the accent lighting here that comes over when those headlights are turned on. And then also you do have the yellow 
the three amber lights at the top as well that Roush has seen in so many years. So love the upgrade here on the grill. Also, you're gonna see this is a, a replacement as well right here where the tow hooks are, so the exposed tow hooks. So that's all replaced with Roush's. It does, it's kind of a high flow grill, so it allows for as much airflow in to the engine compartment as possible. And also to kind of help with that, we do have the fender vents or the hood vents up here that help extract that air out. So getting that, that colder air in extracting the hot air out as fast as possible with these functional vents up here, which I really like. And then you'll notice the hood graphics as well that not only are in the middle, but behind those vents. So pretty cool look uh, here on the, on the front for the hood. Also up there on the top, Roush has gone, instead of having it on the windshield, now it's up on top because when Ford redid this design, they started putting that at the top uh, up there. Uh, same way they do on uh, my Bronco, which is pretty cool. So it does have a nice matte finish black with the Roush cutout right there. So that's pretty cool look up there as well so that's all the front things let's turn this back around show you some of the different new upgrades for 2023 that i think you'll really like now the first thing i want to talk about when we talk about an off-road vehicle like this is the suspension system that you're going to be getting on this so in the past roush has worked with fox um, uh, shocks and to upgrade and calibrate the, the Fox shocks to their specifications. This year, Roush Performance has taken that on in, in house there, and now they have their own Roush Performance suspension system. And anytime Roush does something, they're going to do it top notch. So you're going to see the upgrade to suspension here, going to give it a level, nice, big, beefy uh, spring up here in the front. You'll notice it is painted red to match with Roush's red theme on their stuff, as well as have the Roush right there on one of the, that second coil over there on the side. It looks pretty cool. The rear one out as well is going to be painted red in the back. Nice upgraded, nice big uh, shock in the back, um, or strut I should say, back there. And it does have the Roush R emblem on that one as well. Look at the wheel here. This is the Iridium Gray 20 inch off-road wheel here. That is the standard wheel. We'll talk about an optional color option um, that you have for you. I know I just said option twice, <laughs> but there's another option for you if you wanna go with a more of a black color. There is an option, it is gonna be extra. We'll get to that when we get to the optional components that are available. General Grabber uh, all-terrain tire is a 33 inch all-terrain tire that's gonna be a great tire. Uh, not too noisy on the road, but gonna give you some nice aggressive tread off-road if you want to take this off-road. You'll notice the fender flares, there are two options for you. Uh, you can either get the body colored fender flare with the markers, of course, on the front and back, or you can get the painted matte black. So either way, they will be painted. Uh, so if you want to go with that, with that painted black, you can go that route or you can go with the body colored. There's the uh, same cost no matter which way you go with those. Uh, so I actually, I think all eight of ours have the body colored. I looked for one without in stock and we don't happen to have one right now. So I have to deep dive into some pictures and see if I can get an image because I know we had one in stock at one time. So uh, the fender vent over here, functional fender vent, again, getting that hot air out as quick as possible. Uh, we do with the uh, F-150 Roush emblem there on the side as well, gives it a nice look here on the side. The Roush on, graphics on the side over here is just gonna have the Roush wording in that matte black finish here. Um, and that's pretty cool look to it. If you do have optional upgrades for graphics, if you wanna pay a little extra, if you wanna kinda of step it up just a little bit, you can do that as well. Um, also here in the back, the exhaust, and you get the cat back, dual exhaust tips back here from Roush. So you can get, I believe these are the chrome tips. Um, and I'll have to look at my notes and when we get to optional equipment, there may be a black tip uh, option here for you, but that gives it a nice good sound for you and the capabilities for active exhaust if you make it quieter. We'll talk about options again for that as well uh, towards the end. And then let's not forget, United States of America flag is gonna be on the side of the bed because Roush wants everybody to know that everything and all their vehicles are made in the United States of America and made by um, them here. And actually it's in Michigan as well. So anyway, so pretty cool having the USA flag on the side. So you know where this truck is made. And I think I got everything on the side. Let's move this around and give her some features on the back. Now back here, we're gonna add some more graphics onto the back of it. So the Roush graphics is a matte finish with the Roush cutout, like we did see on the top above the windshield. You're gonna see that back here. You're gonna also see the Jack Roush signature on the back glass back there. Uh, that's gonna be put on it too. Uh, you will also get the Roush license plate bracket and license plate. So if you wanna put that on the front, you can. Uh, we didn't we don't have the front uh, we didn't put, install the front license plate in kansas we don't need to uh, but if you'd like you know if you're living a stay in here if you want to put this on another vehicle for the front license plate you can use that 
uh, or if you just want to use a tag bracket back here, you can do that as well. Now, it's not showing it here, but we will get, uh, it's probably in the glove box. We do have a hitch cover uh, as well with that Roush R on there. It's kind of more of an all-weather material for that, just like the uh, floor liners that we're going to show you in just a little bit. So you're going to have that on the back as well back here. So uh, some great features here on the outside, but let's not forget the inside. There's a couple features in there we want to talk about as well. So moving to the interior, a couple things to note. One of them is the all-weather mats. They are WeatherTech mats, but with the Roush branding on those. So you're going to see the Roush on those on the front too up here. Also, you're going to get a full one that goes across the back seat as well. So it completely covers that up. There's no hump in the back and it's real, a lot of room back there. So you're going to get the uh, all-weather mat back there as well. Also, you're going to get the billet uh, style uh, pedals over here for the gas and your brake pedals or accelerator and brake, I should say, because I have an F-150 Lightning, so it's accelerator. Uh, so you're going to have that in there as well, so which is pretty cool. Textured, uh, so if you want to go off-road, you don't have to worry about your foot slipping, anything like that. So that's going to be on there too. If you have an XLT trim, you're going to also have the overlays for your speedometer and your tachometer with the Roush theme behind those. So you're seeing, you're seeing the red uh, accents, you're seeing gray as well, Roush emblems on there on the speedometer at the bottom, as well as the USA flag on the tachometer. So that's pretty cool. So uh, the reason it's on the XLT is because XLT has an eight inch uh, productivity screen with the actual uh, gauges there. Whereas on the Lariat trim, it is full digital screen across there. So there's, they're not able to do that. So you're going to have that as well. Also going to get a dash plaque over there above the glove box. Uh, actually, it's an extra compartment over there. It'll say Roush, have your serial number on there, what year it is, so, so you know within this model year what number of Roush F-150 build this happens to be. Also, you're going to get the, uh, your cover for the, your uh, remote. I had to think of the wording there. You're going to have the key fob cover that will be Roush as well, so they'll switch that out from the Ford one to the Roush one, so you know you have that. And also, I wanted to make sure I didn't forget this because I did forget it earlier, you do have the wheel locking lug nuts as well. So you'll see on this one here, there is a removed one of the original, uh, the original stock um, lugs for the locking one, so nobody can take those sweet looking wheels that you have on this Roush F-150. So you're gonna have all those features as part of the interior features here for this Roush F-150. So pretty cool on how that all looks, uh, but let's talk about some different options you might think about getting. Let's talk about some different optional components. As I mentioned earlier, uh, typically the uh, fender flares are painted the matte black, uh, that's standard. Uh, so you wanna make sure if you do want the uh, colored matched, uh, fender flares, you want to make sure you note that as optional equipment with your dealer and let them know I do want the optional painted uh, ones. It is no cost for that change, uh, but just you just need to note that for your dealership because uh, if you just, if you know, Roush gets that order and you don't add that, then they're going to put the matte black painted ones instead. Also, the wheel, we do have a matte black wheel option for you. So here's an image of that one that we have, uh, a, a black one that we have on our lot with those uh, matte black wheel. So it's 20 inch wheel as well. Um, so you know, have that finished now. That's about $400 more for that. And I don't have all the prices memorized in my head, but I do know that one's $400 more because we, we do that in a lot of our vehicles here. Graphics, if you want to go with the upgraded graphics, I think it's like just over $300. Uh, of course, these prices could change. It uh, depends on, uh, you know, uh, the market and everything, but you will have a different graphic. So it's a more of a matte finish on the side and even goes, I think, back into the rear door, if I remember right. So you have that graphic option upgrade. Also, you can go with the active exhaust as well in the back. Uh, I'm not sure what that cost is either, but if you want to upgrade your active exhaust, uh, I believe it might be 650. You can upgrade that as well. So that allows you to be able to adjust the sound with a switch. So then that way you can make it louder or quieter in the vehicle. So, uh, so you know, if you want it quieter at the neighborhood, you can do that and then make it louder when you get out in the city streets or whatever, then you can make that, that more active sound for that as well. So you're gonna have that upgrade too. Also another upgrade that we like to go with on a lot of our vehicles because we go to the XLT trim, which has cloth seats, and we will upgrade the leather interior. This is $1,800 for the upgraded leather, and that reminds me, that's how much the exhaust upgrade is. It's 1800 
or 1850s, somewhere in there. Anyway, so we do go with the leather so with this. Now on the XLT trim and the Lariat trim, if you go with the leather upgrade, they're gonna look different. So the XLT is gonna be the gray with the black, so gray inserts through there. You will have the Roush embroidering on the back, USA flag on there as well, and the Roush on the, on the uh, seat cushion down here, and then nice stitching on there. That's gonna be gray stitching, uh, just kind of matches with that. Now, if you go with the Lariat trim, it's gonna be more uh, full black seat. So that way it matches with that Carmine interior uh, from the Lariat trim. Uh, so it'll match up better because the gray with that wouldn't look so good. So you'll have more of a black finished seat there. So I'm giving you a clip from Ford's website again. We don't get these, or from Roush's website because we don't actually order Lariat trims for these. So that's an option as well. And the last one is the Roush Ready Package that includes two different features. Um, one of them being the console vault. So you get the console vault with that. Uh, it's lockable. Uh, you can put it in there. So that basically goes in position with a uh, Roush badging on it and a combination that you would set to be able to get into that. And also an off-road kit that's gonna give you uh, some other things uh, as well. Gloves, I think a flashlight, some other things that come with that. I think a toe strap and some things like that uh, in that off-road kit. So it comes together as what they call the Roush Ready Package, uh, giving you those capabilities right there. So I think that's all of our core components here. So I think that uh, we've covered it all. So there you go, that's, uh, that's everything, all the core components and optional components for the 2023 Roush F-150 Off-Road Edition. So if you're wanting to get this, get a certified Roush vehicle, uh, you do have to work with a dealership. Uh, and so if you go to Roush website, they will direct you towards the local, your closest dealership. So if you're in Kansas, that would be us. Uh, we can help you out, get this Roush ordered for you. Um, and to get it delivered right into your door. If you wanna check out our inventory, we have various colors available right now. Silver, avalanche gray, we have an atlas blue, a uh, gate black, uh, I think we even have an oxford white. A lot of different color. I know for, uh, Roush does this on 11 different color combinations for the F-150. Uh, we got a race red one in as well. Uh, so you can always look at our inventory and see if one will work for you. Uh, if you don't like uh, what we have, we can all go ahead and order one. Uh, right now we have F-150 allocation, so it would not take long for us to get one scheduled about a month from when it gets scheduled to the production date and then since it's right there in Michigan they would uh, ship it right over to them and then about a month usually to get that package put on so a couple months turnaround for that uh, but that wouldn't be too bad to get another Roush F-150 that you're wanting so definitely give us a call uh, send us a text message uh, as well you can go to our website if you want to see our inventory lawmacarthur.com uh, and so hopefully this, uh, this helped you out let you know a little bit about the Roush off-road package for 2023 what's different as well a couple different upgrades for this year and uh, that are kind of i think a big deal on this uh, that i think you'll really like so again thanks for watching this video hope you liked it. if you did smash that like button if you checked out like this video you probably like some of our others so hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell so you can be notified next time another video uploaded to the channel and until the next video don't forget stay positive be kind to one another be kind to yourself and we'll see you on the next video